So what is a montage? Let me show you how one could potentially look. I recorded one right before I shot this part of the video. So let's take a look. Now from the video, what would you assume that I was doing? Clean, right? Nothing too exciting, nothing too uh, interesting. Uh, a montage helps you get the point across with the minimal amount of shots as well as words. Now, if you'd like a more specific definition of a montage, a montage is a series of separate images, moving or still, that are edited together to create a continual sequence. Montages enable filmmakers to communicate a large amount of information to an audience over a short span of time by juxtapositioning different shots. Uh, compressing time through editing or intertwining multiple storylines of a narrative. Now the word montage comes from the French meaning assembly or editing. Now some common film practices used in montages include music, quick edits, voiceover narrative, minimal or no dialogue as well as repeated camera movements. So how do we go about writing this into our own script? Well, let's take a look at a very iconic montage, one that I think a lot of people know about. It's a training scene from Rocky II. And we'll, I'll add the link to the script in the description below. We're on page 94 of the Rocky script. And again, I'll leave a, a link in the description below. And the iconic scene is Rocky leans over Adrian and Adrian whispers, win and mickey's face goes right then what are we waiting for and so this is the next uh, when we talk about montages sort of that training montage rocky really popularized the training montage and so you can sort of see uh, what happens next uh, you can see that there's an exterior street uh, day rocky runs out of his house and down the street now you'll notice that this is actually different than what we actually see in the montage for the film and again i'll link that in the description below so you can see uh, what that looks like compared to what we just see from this montage uh, next we have rocky is blazing away on the speed bag rocky hanging upside down from the wall is doing roman sit-ups as mickey pounds his stomach with the side of his hand uh, then you have exterior backyard dusk rocky is kicking up a lot of dust as he reaches out and catches a fleeing chicken mickey laughs i really love that scene that scene is always one of my favorites uh, interior gym day rocky is getting hit with the medicine ball while doing sit-ups uh, we see the meat house. Again, some of the stuff we actually do not see in the montage that made it into the film. We also watch as Mickey and Polly. Again, it's actually not Mickey and Polly in the film that watch Rocky speeds through a skip rope uh, session. And that's as we go through this thing as well, too. You'll also notice the iconic scene where Rocky runs through the streets uh, is a little different than what we actually see on screen so if we go down to scene 136 uh exterior philadelphia streets day rocky is running through the marketplace people cheer him on children follow uh, then we see him on the philadelphia bridge again now there's 30 kids following him um, and rocky races down the center of the ben franklin parkway 100 children follow him and now here's something interesting too uh, you have that iconic scene where he's up on the steps and cheering and waving and stuff like that you notice this is it it sounds a little different uh just reading it in the screenplay and that's such an iconic scene as well too uh, rocky comes across the street in front of the museum the children follow this the steps now seem tall steeper than ever before and appear to reach into the heavens rocky pulls away in a burst of speed reaches the top of these steps alone the children dance around him and then he keeps running. You don't have that scene where he's sort of, um, in the movie you have the scene where he's jumping around, but in the script you don't see that as well. So this is from 1978. There may have been a couple of changes since then, and we'll take a look at that a little later in the video. So let's talk about how you would format uh, a montage into your own script. And I'm gonna give you some examples that come out of David Trotter's Screenwriter Bibles, the seventh edition. There'll be an affiliate link, uh, Amazon affiliate link down in the description below, so you can take a look at this resource. It's one you should get uh, if you're a screenwriter, it does a great job of telling you different ways of how to format conversations, uh, like how to do a, a, a computer to computer message, how to do a phone conversation, all sorts of wonderful formatting tools. This is a must buy if you're going to do screenwriting full time. So as we see the first part here, you can simply write montage. And then you notice that there is a little bit, there's a dash, and then everything else is in capital letters. And it's basically just sort of talking about what the montage is about. Susie and Bill have fun together. The montage I recorded earlier for this video was about cleaning. And you can sort of see you have these two double dashes. They run along the beach. Susie raises her goofy looking hat against the ocean spray. They bake through the park. 
Uh, Bill buys Susie an ice cream at the small stand. She then stuffs it in his face and the pastry and chuckle. Now, if this is within a different scene, you can say back to that particular scene. So if this was a scene where they were right running right out after school and going right back to that scene, uh, you could you could put that in there or you can simply put end montage as well too so so that's one way to do it let's take a look at a different way to format this so again we have montage we have susie and bill have fun together uh we just see dot or dash dash a beach and then dash dash they race across the sand susie raises her goofy hat into the wind uh then we just have dash dash or park uh, and so you can just see, basically see uh that there's just those different dashes and so let's take a look and we'll compare those two different methods and there really isn't that big of a difference. And basically in this part, in this way of writing the montage, you're just separating out that scene. So they're at the beach or they're at a park or they're at an ice cream stand. And as you can see there, the difference between that and the first one was that you basically don't write where the scene is at. I, a, I should say you don't separate that from, from where the scene is at. You just write what they're doing. And uh, in that same vein, to be a little bit more specific, let's look at the third way you could do this, which is very similar to the Rocky way, exterior beach day. And then you write about what happens and you have exterior park day. Again, you write what happens and ex exterior ice cream stand night. Um, so that's the only big difference is, is basically, you just have to say there's a montage coming. Um, or if you just have these set of uh, scenes put together too, people are gonna know what you want and the reason why we write montage in the first place is again to sort of let the reader know as well as the filmmaker who's going to be who's going to be directing this uh what we're expecting for those scenes um and so this is basically different ways of letting the director or the person who's shooting the film know hey i want a montage i want these different scenes to come together and this is what i want out of the actors as well too i want them to have fun and so when they film this scene they're gonna they're gonna do this based on they're, they're, they're going to be very much like what i did for cleaning so you get the general idea gist of what's going on there's probably not going to be a lot of dialogue uh, a lot of times i thought it was pretty funny that david trotter writes and so this is where we add the song um and so if there's a certain song that you uh is sort of emblematic of your movie maybe during that montage is when you run that song uh and so i thought that was a very interesting way of putting it now how will you add a montage to your next script well, hey, if you're joining me for the first time, my name is Paul from Screenwriting Mentor. I make videos about screenwriting. And if you're looking for a screenwriting software program to help you create that next blockbuster of a movie that will grace the screen and allow us to see an actual good film for once, hey, take a look at this video uh, that I'll link here so you can see what would be some good ones to try out. There's actually some free ones in there as well. Well, until the next video, write well and live well.